Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to War Thunder. Uh, today I'm doing a review of the 262 in patch 1.39. Uh, Mina, Villacy, and Zcats flew it yesterday, I think, or well, the day where the patch came out, so Tuesday. Um, and uh, it flies, it's, it doesn't turn as nicely as it did before, but its speed feels nicer. And it's just general, I guess, flying feels a bit nicer than it did before. So, like, the climb rate's better, it performs better at high altitudes than it did before. Um, it can still kill things with one shot, basically. Unless you're shooting a B-17, which takes about 100 shots or something stupid, because B-17s don't like to die very easily. But at a fifth, like 15 degree angle, it climbs pretty good. Like obviously not as good as some of the stuff it's going to fight. Like uh, Meteor F4s, pro possibly there's a rare chance of it fighting an F4 because F4s don't get that kind of matchmaking. Because who knows why? But a saber you can outclimb most likely. Uh, F9Fs will outclimb you by miles probably. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to skip forward a bit, and I'll see you in a minute, and we'll have some killing going on, and it'll be great. Okay, so here is one of those cases where normally I tend to spawn in after people, because my computer is quite slow. So, I was about uh, four or five kilometers away from everyone else. But I noticed there was an F9F killing AI, so and a B17 killing ground units. So I was like, "Oh, there's the ground units," and I could just about see the dots, I think, through the clouds or whatever. And then there was the F9F there that was killing the AI. I don't know whether he was the thought, oh, "I'll go into an AFK climb," there's no one near me, or whether he just didn't want to go head on with me. But he didn't move at all when I killed him like that. So I don't know what he was doing, but obviously it was more important being shot. At. Um, so here's uh, something that shouldn't really be happening is a B-17 taking as many shots as it does. Well that should have been the kill right there when I hit him then. And notice how one of his 50 caliber machine gun bullets gives me a pink wing and then he keeps flying around for quite some time and hits my fuse large once. I hit him again, didn't do anything to him. <laughs> His wings shouldn't be on anymore, and he should probably be in the ground dead by now. But uh, I managed to, I think, and I, I, I just fly away for a bit here, and then he tries to turn around, and then uh, I turn around on him just because I want to kill him. But I think he just accepts the fate and uh, bails out of his plane, and. Uh, if you look at the mini map there, you can see there's another little uh, dot coming over. And um, I do believe it, it was Shoji or Shinya. And I th no, I think it was Shinya. And um, he's in his bear cat with his little 50 cows or 20 mils, whatever hell he's flying at me. 50 cows, it looks like the red trace. Gives me a flashing red and black fuselage, which is always great. But then he just pulls off me for some stupid reason. Uh, I was going back to base to rearm and repair because I had a pink wing and a uh, slightly damaged fuselage, but I uh, decided that it would be better if I just went for Sh uh, Shinya. It's a quick, easy kill. Um, I know everyone's thinking, oh, killing AI in a jet, and it's like, big whoop, I don't care. <laughs> it gets them out of the way because, like, otherwise, this is going to fly around for ages and then. No, someone else is going to get the kill, so why not? But we did have a whole team of ME262s, and if this was pre patch, like, we would have lost, like, so quickly if they were bad pilots. But I think 262s are a big buff, so people are flying it more now, a lot more. There's, like, more Germans in queue now than Americans, which is quite strange. But uh, my aim there is just horrible. 
but I was just kind of like making a, a kind of line. That technically should have been his tail just blowing off, but then I did kill him in the second little burst. And um, I guess now I will like skip forward to the uh, landing. I got the return to battlefield there. And, uh, in the actual video clip, I uh, said uh, this is. I said it was weird because there's no F-80s on our airfield, and I think it's one of the first times I've ever landed on a map with German jets where there's been no threat of enemy jets around. Like, it's just something that hasn't happened in so long. So, uh, yeah, this thing, as you can see there, it's maintaining speed quite well even though it's zero throttle um, I do I just put my gear down because I'm turning so it will bleed speed off but of course this thing does a 430 mils in the nose so it can stop quite quickly when it's once on the ground um, but it is Quite, it's good to land, and this plane. I don't know about this patch, but last patch, it was so nice to fly in a simulator with a joystick. Like takeoff was probably one of the hardest parts, just purely because I'm always scared of taking my tail on the floor with a tricycle landing gear plane. But I didn't ever do that. But like, the 30 mils, all you do is just like pull the trigger and push the nose of the plane down and just spray that line at them and it just kills them <laughs> but um, we are just about to repair so I will skip forward to when I kill the last AI and then uh, I'll skip forward to the rewards and uh, yeah I'll see you in a minute ok so uh, here we are we're going to dive on Shoji uh, strangely enough he died within one shot him being in a B-17 and all but he died in the first pass which was nice so uh, he was kind of gone from the threat and uh, I guess now uh, I think that F1F just dies so uh, now I'll just skip forward to the uh, rewards and uh, I got the whatever it is, the new fighter thing I think and uh, yeah so uh, four kills, two players, two AI, got me a hundred thousand lines nearly, and eight thousand research points with premium. So yeah, it's good. Uh, I'm assuming this T1 is going to be amazing with that rocket and tail. But uh, yeah, so if you have the 262 and you're not flying it, either because you haven't heard it's better now, or you just haven't heard that it's any good anymore or you don't know it's good uh, I would encourage you to fly it because it is really good now so uh, yeah if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful at all be sure to click like and subscribe down below for more thunder tell me if you want to see any more uh, reviews on planes and I will see you guys next time bye